you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, today is the day that we make New York City a better place to live and a better place to work. Teamsters Joint Council 16 represents over 8,000 men and women that collect New York City's residential, commercial, and recyclable garbage. We are proud of the work that we do and strive to see that it's a cleaner and healthier New York City. We believe that recycling works, but not just for the environment. Recycling works for workers and the community. If done right, it decreases landfilling, reduces the negative impact of trash on our neighborhoods, and creates good jobs. That is why the Teamsters have welcomed and been supportive of the administration and their push to increase recycling in private residences. In fact, we have been on an integral part of the pilot organic program that will keep 30% of New York's organic waste out of transfer stations and landfills. These are bold and wise steps, but it would save the city millions of diverting waste that would be shipped to landfills. This will clean up our communities and create good, high-paying jobs, but we need to do more. Today, I am calling on the city to work with the community and workers to tackle the commercial waste in New York City. The majority of New York's trash comes from the commercial waste. And it's time we open a new phase of recycling with New York City's commercial carters. Right now, commercial waste is the Wild West. Our teams and its brothers, represented by Local 813, see a race to the bottom every day. The bad actors undercut the good companies on wages, benefits, safety, and the environment. This hurts all of New Yorkers. It hurts workers, it hurts communities, business, who, do, who want to do the right thing. There is no smart city policy to promote, to promote a commercial industry that recycles, creates good jobs and respects the neighborhoods. We can make a change today by working together with environmental justice organizations in our communities and the politicians here. By insisting on commercial recycling program, we can create good green jobs. By looking at the current race to the bottom and creating a franchising system so that carding companies may openly bid on routes, will allow customers to decide on their best services. And allowing the men and women that live and work in the neighborhoods good jobs with less pollution would make the city a more affordable and equitable place to live for everyone. Thank you. My name is Sean Campbell, president of Teamsters Local 813. I'm from Red Hook, Brooklyn, a neighborhood that has experienced firsthand the effects of unfair waste structure that has systematically uh, caused this garbage to poor and working class neighborhoods. I'm also a former garbage truck driver and have personally watched the demise of the commercial carting industry. Growing up, jobs in the private sanitation industry were good paying jobs with benefits and the security of good pension plans. Now, as I stand here before you, I can honestly say that the majority of private carters, carters pay very low wages and little in benefits. Many break the most basic health and safety regulations on a daily basis. I am honored to work with the environmental justice community here and with our elected officials that care about the increased pollution in our most vulnerable neighborhoods and want to create a more justic, justice society. We are unified in our message here today that the Wild West days are over. That we are going to fight for better working conditions in the private carding industry and build a program that creates prosperity, pros prospering communities, good recycling jobs, and a cleaner, healthier environment for all our kids. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name is John Shias. I'm a 22 veteran in the garbage industry. I'm going to talk for me and our fellow members behind me. We work, we work for good companies, give us good benefits, wages, good conditions of working, trucks are up to date, and it's about time that the, these other companies that do not 
give good wages, efficient trucks on the road. They should be off the road and have good companies take over the jobs. Thank you. Woo!